Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to use sketch arrow plugins. First of all, uh, it helps you to create arrows, automatically generated arrows between two objects. And even if you will change the position of these two objects, the arrow will be recreated. Right now I will show you how to add and install this plugin and how to use it. So we will need to open browser and go to GitHub for it's a bit of slash sketch connection for arrows or you can just google it uh, here at the bottom you will be able to find all the information regarding this plugin and to download this plugin you will need to go to release a section or use a button here and download plugins section in the readme file by clicking on this button you'll go to release a section on release section please download the latest one it will be always shown at the top so the version might be different, don't worry about that. The most important thing is that you will need to go to Assets section and click on to install download this file. So after installing, it will install uh, the plugin to your sketch. So I will create a new document in sketch and will add new arrow here. So I will use sketch interactions library. You can download it in the link description. So here, I will add, for example, some objects that I would like to have connection with. After installing Sketch Arrow plugin, you will be able to find Connection Arrows section in your menu. Here, by selecting two objects, I will click on Create Connection. So just a quick uh, overview. So we have here Create, Update, Delete, and Settings for this plugin. So by selecting two objects, I will, will click on Create Connection. So that can be used by command shift U uh, hotkeys. So here, what I would like to share is by selecting multiple objects, I can just create all the arrows immediately without doing anything else. And if I will move to one of the objects to the bottom and we'll click on command shift U, it will recreate the arrow. So that's the cool thing about the sketch arrow plugin. Okay, another thing that I would like to share you, we have here create connection, we have here update connection and delete connections, right? We will just all move all these objects, right? I'll just create some, for example, some new connections here, and I would like to update all these connections. So for doing that, I will need to select the artboard that uh, in which, which I would like to update and go to connection arrows, update connection, from selected artboard. As you can see here, all the connections will be recreated based on the position of the objects that you connected before. So that's the cool thing about it. Another thing that I would like to share is we have delete connections. So if you would like to delete all the connections, you can just choose the appropriate one. And the most important is settings. Here you are able to specify arrow direction, uh, right, down, left, up, or auto. If you are using, for example, right direction arrow, arrow direction setting, it will create arrows to the right side. And auto, it will just recreate, will create the arrows based on the position of another object that you selected. I'm always using right, right arrow direction. And here we are able to specify the spacing. So what does it mean? By clicking uh, on command shift U, it will just recreate uh, all the arrows. Another thing that I would like to share is that here we have a link to get free library. This is a library that I'm using sketch infractions. There you will be able to find all the information, all the objects, symbols that will help you to work faster. And we have a link to join our community in Spectrum that chat. Here we have a couple of channels. If you have some bugs, ideas or improvements that you would like to share or just say hi, please go to Spectrum that chat. Have a great day. Bye bye. Okay.